What's up guys? Today I'm going to tell you how I got into the lawn care business and what it took to get started in the lawn care business. My story guys started back in 2012. I had just left another job and uh, basically I was kind of down and out on myself and really searching at that point in my life for what I wanted to do next. I had went from multiple job to multiple job over two, three years. You know, I'd switch or they would go under or uh, lay off, whatever. Uh, you know, coming through that that depression area there where no jobs were hiring, there was nothing you could go out and do to really better yourself. Getting into lawn care then was very hard. If any of you guys did it during that time period, you know, my hat's off to you guys because I'll tell you what, man, whenever I talk to people, the years even after, you know, the depression, 2007, 2008, and 9, you know, these people's pockets were still really tight, you know. People didn't want to give the money up. But, uh, you know, basically... I made the decision that you know I can no longer work for another person I had to do it for myself and if I failed you know it was on me and me only so that's how I made the decision so December 28th 2012 I walked out into my garage and I said I have a Craftman lawn mower here I own it I have a weed eater here John Deere weed eater I own it I have a Craftman weed eater here I own it didn't have a blower at the time but I figured to you know I could clean up whatever I needed to with a push push broom or whatever found out very quickly you know a little handheld blower you know it's well worth the 150 160 bucks so that's what I did I went out in my garage I seen I had a mower I had a weed eater I owned a truck I owned an f-150 at the time I didn't have a trailer so I knew I had to get a trailer so a couple months later like a lot of you guys have done yourself income tax time came and when I got my income tax check it wasn't a lot but it was enough that I knew I could go buy a trailer and I was kind of searching around, did I want to buy used, did I want to buy new, and you know, everything I checked out used just was garbage pretty much. I couldn't find a decent trailer, even though I'd have liked to use. So I went ahead and went and bought new, and uh, I paid right around $1,900 for it, and uh, I just bought it at a local tractor supply, and it's worked out great for me. So the next thing I did is I made a Facebook page, put out, hey, I'm starting a lawn care business, you know, shot it out to all my friends and family, you know, just try to get the word out there to get some lawns, you know, real quick and easy. And then I also made flyers. I did thousands of flyers, guys. Went out, spent hundreds of dollars in gas. I mean, like 150 bucks, no joke, in gas. Hitting all these different areas, putting them out. Don't put them in mailboxes, guys. I cannot stress that enough. You will go to jail. Put them on the flag of the mailbox or put a rubber band, you know, on the door handle. Do not open that mailbox up, whatever you do. So I put out a couple thousand flyers and I really didn't get the return I was hoping for. You know, I was really expecting, you know, to hit 20, 30 lawns off of those flyers. And I, in reality, I probably maybe picked up four. So there I was, brand new trailer, F-150, Craftman riding mower, John Deere curve shaft trimmer, and uh, I even went out and ended up buying the Husqvarna handheld blower. So my season starts. I got 12 lawns. And I'm happy with 12. You know, I'm out by myself. You know, I'm kind of enjoying the day. But I could get them all done in about a day and a half, you know, by myself. They were all residential. Not very big at all. But you know what? I realized very quickly, hey, I can make money off of this. But I have to keep my overhead low and my profit as high as possible. So the first season's under the books, you know, I learned some things, I grew, I learned about a little bit more about, you know, bidding properly, getting the amount of money that, you know, I should get for the yard, but, uh, you know, not bidding too high because I hadn't right at that time had the equipment that I needed to be successful. Let's fast forward to the off season of 2014. So basically January, February around there of 2014. I was asking myself, I had a little money saved up from the year before, and I was asking myself, what do I need to do next to make my business more visibly professional and be able to get even faster at doing these lawns? So that's when I made the decision that I was going to go buy the Toro Time Cutter. I had the cash. I ended up financing a little bit of it, but I was able to go out, buy the Toro Time Cutter for just around 4000 bucks. But it kind of gave me that feeling of, okay, now I got a zero turn. You know, I'm a little more professional. I look a little better. Let's go after a little bit better lawns. So 2014, I put out signs like crazy. Everybody and their mom was calling me. I seen your sign here, I seen your sign there. You know, somebody ran your sign over here, somebody took your sign from here. You know, I put them everywhere in Stark County. I'm not kidding. 
if there was a place I didn't put it, you know, it was probably either a really bad neighborhood or just a little bit too far for me wanting to drive. I was really trying to consolidate my routes and uh, save on fuel and just driving time. But uh, put the signs out, got a really good return, guys. That's when I picked up two of my first commercials that I've ever gotten. They actually seen the signs and uh, gave me a call, asked me to come in. We did a sit down. You know, they explained to me what they did. Uh, I explained to them what I could do and uh, we went from there. You know, the rest is history. Let's fast forward a little bit more. Uh, middle of summer 2014. I realized very quickly for these large commercials that I needed a bigger blower. So uh, I decided to go purchase the Steel BR600 and I absolutely love that blower to this day. Uh, cut my times down on cleanups drastically. I mean, if you guys ever want to speed up a little bit, get a backpack blower. You know, if you're just doing residentials, you know, I wouldn't say that you absolutely need a backpack blower. But if you're doing large commercial lots where you're spending a lot of time walking and blowing, I definitely recommend the big backpack blowers. Definitely help me out. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit more even to the spring of 2015 now. This is uh, for you guys that have been around a long time. You've seen my video where I was contemplating going and buying a brand new mower right then and there. And, uh, you know, I was really just kind of dwindling in my head because the Toro was like two or three years old at that time. Really running well for me. You know, we checked everything out. It was still a decent mower. And uh, I hadn't felt like at that time that I had pushed the account limit with that mower. So I decided that I was gonna go ahead and keep the Toro time cutter that year, keep the money in the bank. And if the Toro went down, I would go ahead and go buy the larger commercial uh, mower and take my company to that next level. But uh, I decided that year that I was just gonna stick with the Toro time cutter. About the middle of 2015, I decided I needed to upgrade the handheld. So I went ahead and went and bought the Steel uh, FS90R. Great trimmer. Okay, now we're here in March 2016. I'm sitting here, I got the cash in the bank. You know, I had already ran the Toro time cutter another year, really pushed the envelope with it. And I'm kind of getting to the max of my limit with that. So now it's time that I need to go purchase a commercial mower. So I went through everything, guys, trying to figure out exactly which mower I wanted. And uh, with me trying to push it with the large commercial properties, I knew I had to have speed. That was one of the main factors. I needed speed, and I needed something that made a beautiful strike. So I decided to go with the Skag Cheetah, and I'm so happy I did because that mower is fast, cuts beautiful, easy to maintain, and looks great on the trailer. So now we're here, February 2017. You guys just seen my video of my plans for this summer. I'm gonna purchase some things in the spring, probably in the middle of the summer, and maybe even some of the other things in the fall. Uh, you don't go out and just drop a lot of money at once if you don't have to, and at this point, I don't have to. So, uh, you know, I'll kind of pick the things up throughout the year, you know, buy them cash outright. I'm not a big fan of using a lot of credit. All right, fellas, that's my story. That's how I got started. And my plans for the future, you know, if you don't absolutely love lawn care, find something that you love doing. Because I'll tell you what, I may hate it throughout the summer when it's 100 degrees, you know, and I'm sweating my ass off. But, uh, you know, whenever the off season's off, I truly miss doing lawn care. I miss mowing. I miss hanging with the guys, you know, just the camaraderie, you know, talking back and forth about things we can do to get better. Uh, picking up new customers, talking with new customers. I absolutely love lawn care and landscaping, guys. And I tell you, you know, I know a lot of you guys, you know, we're in income tax time, and a lot of you are thinking about, you know, should I start a lawn care business? You know, what should I do? And I'll tell you this, if you love lawn care, you love mowing the grass, you love mowing your own grass, you don't mind being hot, you don't mind being dirty, I say go after it, go get it. You're the only thing holding yourself back. Maybe some financial things are holding you back, but make them work. You know, don't expect to have all the brand new equipment right off the rip. Go out, work your ass off, get the equipment, you know, get better over the years. Keep going, keep going. And eventually, you know, you'll look back right now. I'm looking back. I'm like, where the hell did five years go? You know, I can remember soaking in my own tears saying, what am I going to freaking do? You know, and a lot has changed since then. You know, I've moved houses. I had another son since then, you know. We don't always have the answers, guys, to figure out, you know, what we need to do or where we're going to go. Sometimes you just got to get out there, do it, and, uh, you know, let it, let the ball roll. So, as always, guys, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys.